Welcome to Golf Beginner World. If you seriously want to improve your golf game over the coming winter months, you have to find a way of repeating your ball flight. And not just every second shot or every third, every single time. So in order to do that, you need to do the following. Get yourself a lot of golf balls. Use an alignment stick. The alignment stick should point straight towards the target. Stand parallel to the alignment stick and make sure that your club face points towards the target. And now start to hit a few balls. The ball flight you want to see is a small draw from right to left and the ball needs to land where it's supposed to land. Now if you're already drawing the ball, all you've got to do is find a way of repeating it. That's practice. But if you're not, and I think most people watching this video don't draw their balls properly, then do the following. Make a good backswing. Then start the downswing by transferring your weight slightly to the left. Feel your arms dropping slightly. You need to keep your arms and hands as passive as possible. All you're doing is transferring your weight to the left. Then feel your left side pulling in this direction. Okay, I transfer my weight and I feel my left side pulling. And during this time you're holding the club as gently as you can. If you feel the shaft flattening slightly, that's really good. But it definitely will suffice if you just drop everything while you're transferring your weight. And then through impact, it's important to feel the club head passing the hands. And this has to happen automatically. It's very important if you want to hit a little draw that you don't force the release. The release must occur and the timing has to be right. So you've got to start with the weight shift, the dropping of the arms. Only once you start to turn do you allow the release to occur. Okay, and that way you'll drop the club slightly underneath the swing plane and you'll be able to swing slightly to the right. And that's what's important to make a draw swing. And your goal is to hit as many small draws in a row. So if you manage two in a row, that's great. If you push or slice or hit a straight shot on the third go, you need to start again. And all the time, you're just thinking, drop, transfer the weight. There's nothing happening here with the arms and hands. There's no pressure. Automatically, you're keep the angle between the shaft and the arm and then you've got to allow the club to overtake the hands. How many draws can you play in a row? It looks a lot easier than it is and I think in your first session if you could manage five in a row, that would be fantastic. But imagine if you could on the driving range hit about 20 draws in a row. The chances of you doing on the golf course will be really, really good. And you'll be able to keep your ball in play next year. Thanks for watching. See you.